Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Slayer in Guilty Gear Strive. Um, I'm a little late to the party on this one, he actually arrived, uh, two days ago? Two days ago? Uh, he arrived, uh, at the end of the week and it's now Sunday, so I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's just jump in and check him out and see how he plays, uh, as I usually like to do. Um, also as I like to do, I'm gonna do a little bit of a intro to to uh, Slayer before we dive in. So, uh, Slayer was introduced in Guilty Gear XX, The Midnight Carnival, uh, this game here, uh, and that came out in 2002. Uh, he was not the only character introduced in this game, there were actually four newcomers and one pseudo sort of newcomer. Um, so basically, uh, this is the game that gave us Eno, you can see her on the cover there, uh, and you know, she was a pretty serious character, she was a threat. Uh, and is still a threat, and is an antagonist that is very dangerous in Strive as well. Um, although she is, you know, very horny and, uh, crazy and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, we got, we got one very serious newcomer to the cast here. But we also got, uh, this goofy little kid, uh, who is extremely oblivious and extremely polite and is so dumb that it takes 20 years for us to figure out she's a girl. <laughs> uh, and we've got uh, this Australian man here who is possessed by demons but does not believe in either demons or possession, which is pretty silly. Uh, this one's not quite technically a newcomer. You could play as Robokai in uh, GGX Plus, the previous game, uh, but he wasn't called Robokai yet. Uh, and this is the first game that really, like, shaped his personality and made him, like, a separate character from Kai, who had different things going on. Um, so yeah, this goofy, uh, player two version of Kai, uh, who just is this comic relief asshole, basically. Uh, so yeah, overall, this game was a bit silly. <laughs> um, so, like, the previous games weren't, you know, that grimdark. They weren't, like, the edgiest thing in the world. Um, but it's with X2, or XX, whatever you want to call it, the series really started to lean into being pretty fucking goofy. <laughs> um, like, just to demonstrate this, um, in the previous game, uh, Guilty Gear X, the, uh, mirror match theme was called Fatal Duel, uh, and it sounds a bit like this. You get the idea? Um, but in this, in this game, in X2, they uh, changed the mirror, mirror Match theme uh, over to a song called Nothing Out of the Ordinary, uh, which is what they kept using up from then on for quite a long time. Uh, and it sounds like this. So, you know, it's still rock, obviously, but it's a lot, it's a lot more up, upbeat and silly, and that's just the vibe that the game was kind of going for uh, at that point. Uh, and in that vein, uh, let's talk about Slayer, <laughs> who is the remaining newcomer from Guilty Gear XX. Um, so here he is. He is a vampire. He was the only vampire in the game until Strive, when Nagoro Yuki was introduced, uh, which was quite a thing. Um, but basically, the thing with Slayer is that he's flaunting all the vampire tropes. You can see he's wearing a bunch of crosses. Uh, he loves to go out in the sun. Um, it is suggested that that might be because he's wearing, like, sunscreen that is 200% effective somehow. Uh, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, and he's just, like, and, like, rather, uh, he is bisexual, like most vampires, but rather than being, you know, this, uh, flirtatious seducer sort of guy. He's happily married. <laughs> um, so, here's his wife here, her name's Sharon, uh, and the deal is, um, Slayer is immortal due to being a vampire. Sharon is human, but is also immortal because of basically an immortality glitch in the universe. Um, because, you know, Guilty Gear runs on the backyard, and the backyard is like a computer, basically. There's this weird Beat code almost that she has that makes her also immortal, despite being a regular human in every other way. <laughs> um, 
and yeah, like, he's just this goofy guy who loves his wife. Um, he forms the Assassin's Guild, uh, the one that Zato and Malia and Venom are all from, uh, because essentially he wanted something to do on the weekends, he wanted friends to hang out with and stuff like that. Uh, he wasn't really intending for it to be, you know, fucked up and abusive and murdery. He just wanted a club. <laughs> Um, which is, yeah, pretty cute. Um, as you can see, he's going a lot with his wife. Um, and she pretty much acts as an infinite source of blood for him because she's, you know, also immortal and he needs to drink blood being a vampire and all that. Um, uh, and you can see, yeah, uh, they, they've got a lot of the same looks throughout the ages. This one's from Accent Core. Uh, this is also from Accent Core. Um, and this one's from Ekthar, and you can see there's Sharon being adorable. Uh, so yeah, it's just this 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 guy uh, who loves his wife uh, and is immortal. Uh, actually, um, he also gave Soul the name Soul. Um, like they, they've met before, obviously. This guy's immortal, Soul's immortal, or was immortal, so you know it's gonna happen. Uh, and he named Soul after the sun because his passion shone like the sun, which is um. Really, really bisexual. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's Slayer. Um, he got a bit of a redesign for Strike. He looks like this now. Uh, so he's pretty much had the same look since the beginning, but they've given him a, like slightly different clothes this time. It doesn't really make a big difference, uh, and it's not like he's wearing fewer crosses or anything. Those six little buttons on his shirt there are crosses made of silver. <laughs> Uh, and he's got this cape that's all vampire-y, and yeah, he's still flaunting all the vampire stuff, basically, which is great. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just gonna see how he plays in Strive, um, and see what we think. Uh, so first I'm just gonna jump into training mode, so I can just play with his moves a little bit. Uh, I'm using one of my flat boxes, because I love him. I haven't actually heard his theme yet, I've heard it's very good. Uh, let's over here. There we go, looking good. Uh, um, let's look at the colours. Um, let's see, colour one. I'm not likely to recognise a lot of the references to other like, versions of the character or whatever that we're seeing here. Uh, but he has looked more or less the same in all the previous games. It's just, it's just a guy. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, and we'll go with Kai. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna make sure that it's here. Cool, cool. I'm just making sure I'm recording the audio properly. <laughs> just in case. Uh, here's taking a little while. I may need to pause some Steam updates, I think it might be using my big surprise. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got Slayer here. Uh, he's very uh, twirly. Oh, his crouch is not a crouch, he just uh, takes a seat. I like that. He can't run. I'm, I'm like, I double tap in hell, he just dashes. His dash can go through opponents, which is neat. Um, I believe in previous games his backdash was a pretty key part of his mechanics. Because backdashing in most fighting games gives you like a couple of invulnerability frames. Uh, I believe he used that and then sort of cancelled uh, from the, from that backdash into his attacks and stuff. Which is pretty neat. Okay, so we got a punch, uh, we got a kick, we got our fast slash. That's close class. That's close cool to me. Uh, and our heavy class. Good. Okay, so. Uh, kick K looks good. Oh, I really like my really like the kick K. That's cool. Uh. Uh. Okay, he hasn't got command command slash, but he's got command um heavy slash. I believe his moveset in this game is based on records. Uh, let's have a little look here. Okay, so PK and HF are all... Oh, I can hold that one. 
Oh, interesting. Nothing overhead. So if I hold it down, okay, I can faint out of it and not do the attack, and then I can take someone up the other way. Okay, I like that. Uh, got Mappa Hunt. Yeah, that's just basically it's a punch. <laughs> Uh, and then Dandy Step is a command move, movement, um, and this is his record, I believe. I can lead into a bunch of different stuff from there. Pile Bunker? Ooh, that looks good. Okay. Uh, so I can get a low by hitting kick, get overhead by hitting strike. Uh, I don't know if that's an overhead. It looks like it should be, but I don't know if it counts as one. Um, we've got Blood Fucking Universe, which is a command grab. It's be very close, apparently. Oh, okay. Okay, so Blood Sucking Universe gives him an upgrade. Why? It says Universe on the back. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, during the back. Oh, I can cancel out of a backdash into this. Give it a try. Oh, yeah, yeah. Neat. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then he's got two overdrive super mapper hunch. A lunging strike attack so far clothes can't keep up. <laughs> oh, that is very funny. Okay. Uh, group. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I believe this is one of the strongest attacks in the game. Uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, he gives them a bite. Uh, he becomes stinkier for some reason. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, it explodes people. Uh, but it requires 100% tension, which is, I think, the only ability in the game so far that does that. Everything else is 50%. Uh, but yeah, okay. Um, I got a couple of different punches that way. Uh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay. So he gets really, really hard. Um, what's up in the Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You have to be very close, so you just whip. Okay, and you can see I'm sort of glowing. Uh, because of the upgraded state I'm in? Okay. And whatever my next hit is, is universe. Okay, so... How do I lead into an overdrive with that? <laughs> Not if I press the button wrong. <laughs> I keep dashing past and then pressing the wrong quarter circle direction because I'm not used to being able to catch the enemy. <laughs> Okay, yes, you can universe your overdrive too, to have blood like that is. Neat. Okay. I haven't checked you dash move. Oh, it's not dash move. Please please call dash move. That's pretty normal. Alright. Uh, and his regular grab. Okay, he's got multiple. Uh, he's only got one command guard. I was gonna say multiple, but he deserves a drive attack. Uh, we're ready to sweep. I like his 2H, just, just like his ground pound thing. Pump. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, this feels good. Um, let's jump into arcade mode and see what it's about. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> uh, regular color is fine. I think, I think he meets Nagoro Yuki in here. Yeah, there we are, right away. Um, which makes sense because they're both, you know, I think called Nightless is the name for vampires in this universe. Um, but yeah, they're, they're both vampires. They can have a chat about being vampires. <laughs> I'll have to see how I go with this. I don't think I know how to play Slayer well yet. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. 
So instead of reflecting on themselves, okay, sure. they blame the beasts. Heaven <laughs> or hell. I see you're still in good health. I like that before. Let your blade speak louder than your words. Oh, right, yeah, he's uh, Scottish. <laughs> He's actually from um, Transylvania, but he has he sounds Scottish for some reason. Ow. Alright, this is this is Nagos normal thing. I was thinking, why is this, why is this one playing? This is Nagos thing. I'm just used to hearing crawl because normally he's the boss. <laughs> okay. You still want a handicap? Obstinacy grows into handicap. I haven't tried his um wild assault yet. I don't know which one it is. I'll have, have a look. Oh, he's there. It's fun. I like that. It's a little kick. Kind of oh. I was enjoying the range on it. Was. <laughs> oh fuck. Easy victory. Still seems so far away. No need to feel dejected. I've got centuries more experience. However, I still haven't proven a thing to you. Then why not join me for a spot of leisure? What sort of leisure? No. I'll join you, God. <laughs> yeah, why not hang out with him? Sounds great. Hey, Abba. I don't know who player has interactions with, I guess we'll see. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven <laughs> or hell. Nick! Abba, stop it! Hey, I told hey! You, you can't have him. That might be unique, I'm not sure. It sounds like the kind of thing she would say to everyone. Careful of dance. Slayer versus Abba. Obviously, you know, in regular play, you skip that intro a lot, so you know, it's there are people play. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not really my kind of character, I think. I am very much a projectile enjoyer. Oh, 
thrill chills the blood. Every hair standing on end. Bags on the eyes. Dandy. Slayer. Slayer. Wait, is there a unique haiku for each character or something like that? That'd be cool. I forgot to mention while I was explaining Slayer earlier. Um, yeah, haiku is a thing he does. Um, his instant kill in previous games was that he'd read, like, a shitty haiku he's written, and that was the moment. Um, like I said, he's a goofy guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like in this game the haikus are on his, uh, wind screen. Because, yeah, instant kills aren't really a thing in this one. Yeah, they might be, you know. <laughs> As I mentioned, Soul and Slayer do know each other, and that's how Soul got his name. So there's a good chance of having a change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Hurry up and retire all day. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, definitely. But I'm not bored with you. Oh, that's Slayer versus Soul. Duel one. Let's rise. Oh. 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 Oh, you actually lose universe when it comes to you. Okay. Well, now I know. Yeah, I don't really know if Slayer plays the way he did in previous games. Um, because yeah, I haven't played him a lot. Um, but... He seems to still have a project from dashing around and cancelling back dashes and stuff and things like that. So, maybe? Ow. Okay, I probably do need to throw at least one round so that I go down to hard and get the green. That's a good idea with a new character. <laughs> I won't do it yet. Ow. Maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's not really throwing, that's just me fucking up. <laughs> Ow. Oh yeah, because Slayer's so powerful, when you get knocked out, he's not actually, like, knocked out. He's just so lounging. <laughs> I think Nago does the same thing. Uh, because, yeah, it's just how vampires are in this universe. They're holding back all the time. Stand with pride. Shadows hide when I should see. Desert mm -hmm. Slayer. That one might just be random. It doesn't sound that much like Soul. Oh, he's a lot younger, so maybe. Also, I love the idea that Sharon is just sitting there inside the magic cape all the time. <laughs> Oh, very I, I like her a lot. <laughs> okay, so I did lose a round there, which means I'm now on hard instead of extreme. Uh, which means I should be able to just manage from here. Man, you can't actually drop the kill uh, once you're on hard. So uh, anyway. On themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. Do 
Yeah, we're in probably weirdly slow. We've just gotta like summon uh the car and all that. Marlene. <laughs> For a dance. I think that's the generic interaction with a girl and the player has. Eno. Like, a lot of characters have those. Oh, he's supposed to throw in Bongo with Kagi Show me your dance. Oh yeah, by the way, Dandyism uh, is like a real sort of queer guy that exists. Uh, who like, you know, dresses up all fantasy like this. Um, and yeah, Slayer's always been, like, invoking those tropes. Uh, and they're saying it a lot in this game. <laughs> I don't know as much about it, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a lesbian and all that, but yeah, it, it, it's a thing, and from what I've heard, like, fans of the games who are dandy men in real life think it's awesome that he's here now. So, yeah, that's cool. That's also why his move is called Bandy Step. But yeah, that's just what he's doing. Yesterday I saw. I strained to hold back the tears. Touch it up. I do think that it's picking a random, a random trio of lines that fit the haiku format, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, and it fits with the whole like Slayer haiku that is terrible nonsense thing. So that's good. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the main now time. I actually haven't used, um, whatever the super overdrive is called, the one that costs 100 tension. I've forgotten the name, uh, but yeah, I haven't been using it. Uh, just because it's su such a drain on resources, and it is lockable, it's not a throw. Uh, but I should probably try to give it a go, if I can get it in. I'll do my best, Johnny. Thanks, May. My, my. Yeah, that's just a generic like facing another facing one of the girls line. I'm guessing he uses it against Bridget because most of the characters this season have had a girl line that they use when facing Bridget. <laughs> uh, I believe May and um Slayer are both power characters according to the characters next screen. I can kind of see what they mean. <laughs> Oh right, yeah, she can do that. Um, ah, fuck. Yeah, he blocks that. I tried to use the 100% tension super, uh, and it still uses the 100% tension even if it doesn't hit. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, her fame squad has like a tongue sticking out, so... I believe um that punch can kill certain characters from full health. It's just that that powerful. Uh, also really hard to use with you need full tension. Uh, wins. And you know, punching builds up tension and stuff like that, so it's a bit tricky to do if you're not if you want to go from full health. I'll start a training mode where it's easy. <laughs> this testament has interactions with the player. 
I, I, I could say them like wanting to talk about dandyism and stuff, given how their designs evolved and how they, especially with the top hat and all that, I feel like that sort of evokes that kind of that they that style. Uh, but I guess we'll see. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Sink softly into sleep. Okay, that's generic. That's just one of the best normal lines. Such charming spirit. If you can keep it on. Hmm. I'm guessing those are both generic. That's ever. Dual one. Let's rock. I'll take it down. <laughs> It's a test is pretty much a zona, and I have no projectiles or really ranged attacks at all, so we'll see how we go with this. Directly through characters is really weird. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Also, not good at getting that in without whipping. I mean, not whipping, getting it blocked. Not a <laughs> I love how big his arm gets. Can I do that? Attack? That's some um, 2S, I think. Yeah. Stroke of genius. I strain to hold back the tears. Oh yeah, um, I believe every character has a recording of them saying Dandy in response to play the type Uh, which is awesome. Oh hey, Oscar. I'm trying to remember what um mods I have on what it's gonna look like. <laughs> I, I like him at this point. <laughs> ah, we'll see, we'll see. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. If I give up now, will you let me be? I feel generic. Such charming spirit. Yeah, that's true. If you can keep it up. That makes sense. I don't think after it, like, I have too much, Versus. like, overlap in terms of experience and things like that, but... Let's rock. Wait. Oh yeah, he can't spell. I remember now. <laughs> I know that I can beat, um, Mana with Asuka with a single use of the, uh, Super Punch Super thing. The other one. The one that is really hard to land uses all my tension. Uh, but he's using up his mana anyway, so... I'm gonna take down his mana, yeah. Oh, it went for a different reason that time. <laughs> Slash. Oh, you'll get up. It's very dark. Slay. Wins. Go down. Duel 2. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Mental strength all come up short. Just a fleeing guy. Walking hand in hand with you. I feel it. Damn. Slay. Win. Oh, that's really funny. Hi, Doctor. So, yeah, Slayer and Doctor have a pre existing relationship given. Uh, Slayer founded the Assassin Guild, uh, the one that Zato was the leader of for a while. Mankind knew so, um, I'm curious what the interactions will be. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Hey, Sharon, you're pretty. Have you forgotten? I'm your disciple as well. Yeah, I mentioned. You certainly don't want for vigor. Slayer versus Zato. I am the true inheritor of death. Fool! I am your seed. <laughs> Enough charming. I remain the original guy. And I shall defeat you both at once and prove that none understands Sir Slayer's teaching like I do. <laughs> This world is ridiculous. You <laughs> 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 Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the assassin skills. It's just, you know, they're all the best dandy. <laughs> they won't have a fight about it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> See, you've both polished yourselves to distinction. That was truly enjoyable. You're as overwhelming as always. Was there even any point in my being here? <laughs> of course, you knew I'd steal the stage, <laughs> my young friends. You truly haven't dulled a bit. The years only make me stronger. It can't be that simple. More years must also mean more suffering. Hardship. <clears throat> I know what you must think, but eternity really isn't all bad. Why, I got to see a troubled old friend find his own splendid path. Only because I found a guidepost amid the flow of time. But most can't bear the passage of so much time. In which case, dying for a while may be an option. A reset on all worries. It really clears the head. 
Oh. That may be... However, some things remain stained on the body. For one, the iron will to keep one's life or death out of the bounds of consideration. For two, the art of molding that iron will into shape and the pride that it brings. For three, what truly decides a battle. Not will, pride, victory, life or death. But that which delivers those in peril and preserves those in privilege. That is to say, dandyism. <laughs> Very good. I may have feared my seeds wouldn't take root, but it seems they've grown to bloom on their own. Once there is game over. Okay, so I don't think Slayer is my character, uh, because he's you know a close-up power punchy guy, uh, and. I am an annoying diner, uh, but I like it. I like how he plays, uh, and his story is really good. That was that was awesome. Uh, I might just take him back in and uh, do a little bit more punching. Feel of it. Um, but yeah, so Slayer's in the game now. Um, <laughs> uh, and he's extremely funny. <laughs> Oh, you can't take power blankets very quickly. Like that. Basically, without going back at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can cancel into any any of the dandy step moves like immediately, basically. Uh, you don't have to wait for him to step back. Oh, you also do it like that. Uh, which lets you do a bit of a cross up at the same time, which is neat. Because if you're close, you'll go through and then do it. Alright, uh, get on the other side, please. I'm gonna try this out. See? <laughs> I like that. Um, last Horizon, that's the move I was doing, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's the only command grab, I think. Yeah, yeah, the only one that's actually a command grab is, um, Lost of the Universe. Lost Horizon looks like a grab, but it's not a grab, it's a new one. I believe looping those pile bunch of punches together is possible, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I haven't actually looked at them as properly. Fun. I, I do like this one. That's the slash key, but it gives him these little kicks, which is very cute. Uh, he, that's his kick in midair. And that's the other one. <laughs> you know the one. Uh, are there any arrow can moves in here? No. Okay, so none of these specials work in midair, which is interesting. But his normals are pretty good. I like this one. Bomb. <laughs> I really like how his fist gets bigger when he's punching. It's very cute. Uh, and the dash is pretty stuff. Dust the dip. The, the, yeah, stuff, not down. It's the sticky thing. I'm not sure where a hitbox is exactly. I haven't got the hitbox pack installed right now. Uh, but yeah. Okay. And what's up in the universe? That can go into any move, right? Oh, this one. This is a soft Do it! This is... Not good! Not good! Mm. 
No, it doesn't look like it. It didn't say universe. Uh, but it, maybe it did more damage? I don't know. I'm out. Very slightly more damage. No, no, the combo damage is the same. Okay, so Lock Lock and Universe does not work on Last Horizon. But I think it works on this one. That's 148. Uh, can I push you to the edge? Yeah. Get over there. I need to go to the corner again for the area to happen. Okay, there we go. You're in the corner. Uh, now if we do a blood sucker. Uh, Seventy-two. So that is more damage, but it's not a lot more damage. Okay. It's probably better off to use Bloodsucker in the universe on a different move. Something that doesn't, like, rather than an overdrive, it doesn't have to be could be wrong. I'm also not seeing a reversal in here, so I might play and may have trouble with defense. I guess you can use backdashes, but like that doesn't get you out of like uh Ice Zemo or anything like that. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do in that case. I guess just walk. Oh no, Super Mapper Hunch gives him both. So he does have an he does have a reversal, but it's only hit one of his overdrives. So okay. Uh, yeah, these are all the fairly normal stuff. Alright, um, I'm gonna call out a video, I think. Uh, that's Slayer, he's in the game now. Uh, if you're a Slayer enjoyer, I hope this version of Slayer is still fun for you. Uh, I think he's pretty fun. He's not quite my kind of character because, as I mentioned, I'm the annoying donor. <laughs> um, but I can see why people would enjoy him. Uh, and he feels pretty good to control, so like, I don't think there's anything wrong with this version, but, you know, I'm not like a player expert. Oh, that's cute. Takes out his pipe when he's walking backwards. I like that. Good pop. Huh. I don't have any of my macro keys down. That's what I did. Doesn't matter. Okay, um, that's about it for this video. Uh, player's in the game now. Um, he's pretty funny. I like the haiku. <laughs> Uh, and his story is, is, seems extremely silly and very much in vain with the kind of arcade mode stories this game tells. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't really love this type of character. Um, like, I, pre I prefer to have projectiles, I prefer to be zoning out my opponent, that kind of thing. Um, but that's like not a slight against the way he's designed in this game at all, that's just like what I like. So, I assume if you like this type of character, this is awesome for you. Okay, Okay. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Um, actually, I'm just gonna jump back to my menu. Uh, let's just talk for a little bit. Because that's the end of Season 3, right? Uh, season 4 is coming up. Uh, and I'm curious who we should be expecting. Because, uh, you know, we've already had a lot of the characters uh, that, I, that I was expecting to see. I'm going to jump into GG World so I have some visual aids here. That's the wrong thing, I want this one. Um... um 
saying, yeah, that works. So, uh, this is just the, this is the roster from Guilty Gear 1. Uh, we pretty much have everyone here, except for Cliff, uh, who is dead, and Justice, who is dead. So, it's not likely, uh, we're getting either of them. Uh, but everyone else who was playable in the original game is in this game now. Um, yeah, apart from Testament, they're pretty much all base roster. Oh, and, oh no, Johnny wasn't playable. Okay, um, but yeah, then we just jump ahead to, uh, Guilty Gear X. Because there is a couple of conspicuous absences here. We haven't got Venom yet. Uh, I think Venom is likely for Season 4. Uh, it seems, like, very probable, given we have the rest of the Assassin's Guild now, including Slayer. Um, and I'm just not sure how he'll operate, because Venom is retired. Um, he is running a gay little bakery with Robokai, as of this game. Uh, so he may still be doing that, or he might he might come come back wearing like his chef hat. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have him back. Uh, it's pretty likely that he won't be tear down like this because he actually put it up under his chef's hat as a disguise, so the people don't recognize him. Um, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um... We are also missing Jam, uh, Proudberry, uh, who... has been in pretty much every previous game. I don't know if we're gonna see her in this one. Uh... Partly... Partly because, um... She's written in kind of a racist way. Um... Basically, she's Chinese, and she's written speaking in, like, broken Japanese or broken English or whatever, because she's Chinese. <laughs> um, there is a good chance we don't have that, uh, that she comes into this game and she's written like a normal Chinese person, without, you know, weird stereotypes. Um, because she made a cameo in the Arxis published game River City Girls 2. Uh, and she's written fine in that in that game. That's her most recent appearance. So if they keep that version of Jan, that's fine. Uh, it seems likely, uh, but like, whether we get her at all or not is a question. We just don't know. She's not like super important to the narrative, so maybe not. But you know, we might see her. Uh, a character we are almost certainly getting is Dizzy. Uh, my absolute favorite character from the series. Uh, so basically, Dizzy, uh, she's married to Kai in the present day, uh, she's Finn's mum, uh, and she's kind of sort of a mum to Elfelt and Ramothal as well, like it's as of, uh, they live in the house now and she's the mum of the house, so, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, and yeah, she's super important. She basically represents Gears as a marginalised group, uh, because when she's introduced in this game and everyone's hunting for her and stuff, it's literally just because she's a gear. Uh, she's not done anything. Um, and she's like, forced to hide out in the forest and eventually fake her own death. Uh, because, uh, people just won't leave her alone because she's a gear. Even though she's not doing anything. Uh, and yeah, eventually, uh, Kai marries her because he's, he's just charmed by how delightful and wonderful she is in every possible way. Uh, and as of Strive, again, she's pretty much retired, but uh, she wasn't really working as a fighter in the first place. She's like a pacifist who just needs to defend herself most of the time, so it's possible she comes back in a different role. Um, it's also very possible uh, that she comes back in a different look uh, with, a, with a redesign that emphasizes the, the idea that she is queen of Illyria now. Um, we don't know that for sure, but it's very, very likely uh, that Kai abdicated the throne in this game so that Dizzy could be queen. Uh, because it's not a job he likes doing, and everyone thinks it would be awesome if she was queen, and like basically the whole public perception of Gears has shifted that much. Uh, that everyone loves her now, and it is very likely uh, that if she comes back, she will be Queen of Valyria. Um, we'll see. Uh, if I just jump ahead again, uh, we're still from, uh, this cast, uh, we got Abba, uh, we got Slayer, uh, we are still missing Zappa, uh, 
we may get him back, but we also just might not. Uh, he was in the XR, but it wasn't playable in XR. Um, basically, he had some narrative to do with Faust helping him out, helping him manage his, like, possessions and stuff like that. Uh, and he's, his story's pretty much wrapped up in that game, so there's a good chance he won't be in this one, but, you know, we'll see. Um, we may get Raven as well. Raven was a. Please jump ahead. Raven's design from this game, this one is XR. Uh, he was playable in this game. He was pretty popular. Basically, he's also immortal and he's not coping well with it, so he's become kind of a master. <laughs> um, but yeah, he might end up playable. We'll see. Um,. Because he was playable before, and I think he's one of the few characters on here that's still in that state. Oh yeah, Answer is also possible. Uh, basically he's just, uh, Chip's, uh, yeah, like, um, secretary, essentially. <laughs> and he's on the phone all the time while he's fighting, which is just very funny. Uh, okay. Look at that. His name's Heishun. <laughs> yeah, Heishun's another chance. Um, basically, yeah, she was introduced in Exard, and he uses this giant old man robot thing, uh, because her family are weird misogynists and don't let women hold positions of power. Uh, so she has to tend to be this guy, but she's really this, like, uh, dorky teenage girl who wears headphones. <laughs> um, so, like, there's a good chance that she comes back and they, like, address that, like, address the fact that she's being forced to spend in this way that's not who she is. Uh, they may do some sort of parallel with, like, Bridget's situation, or maybe even, like, Dizzy or the Valentines or something like that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I feel like she's, she's a strong possibility as well. Um... But of course, we're already running up against the fact that there's probably only four characters per season, and I think I mentioned more people than that. So, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's also possible something way out of left field happens, and we get, like, a version of Arya back, because Arya is gone, but she's kind of not gone. She's Dako's head mate, so, like, the possibility that something happens and we get the player's justice again? Uh... But it's a long shot. It's not likely. <laughs> uh, it's not remotely likely. <laughs> um, Ariel could be playable. She was, like, one of the big bads in XR, but she's not so much in this game. Uh, and the big bad in this game is playable, so I don't know. Um, also possible that Vernon becomes playable. This guy was pretty important in the Strive story mode. Um, and... Like, they've had other Strive Story Mode characters become playable, like Asuka, for example. Uh, but of course, he was also the main guy uh, of the main story, not just this one game. So, you know, we'll see. Um, you can also play as two of the three kings of Illyria, Kai and Leo. You cannot play as Daryl. There's a chance we get to play as Daryl, <laughs> but I have no idea how we play. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's kind of it, really. Um, we also could possibly get, like, a new character from someone for a spin-off. Uh, Leah Paladin, for example, would be a possibility. Um, Judgment from Issaka, uh, or Izuna, also from these games, this guy here. And Shadow of Paradigm, there have been, like, a lot of characters that haven't come back. Uh, and only some of them are dead, Valentine's dead. Um, but, yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, I feel like the most likely character at this point is Dizzy, uh, which makes me happy because I love Dizzy, she's my favourite. Um, but we will see in, like, a month? <laughs> um, basically Evo is, um, in July, so there's a very good chance that the start of Season 4 is revealed at Evo. So, we will see what will happen then, probably. Um, and honestly my money is on Dizzy at this point. They're kind of running out of characters who are missing. Um, it's possible they come up with someone new, uh, fill some more slots, but, um, everyone this season 
uh, has pretty much been a fan favorite from a previous game. Uh, like we had Johnny, and then Elfelt, and then Abba, and then Slayer. All of them have been in previous games. They've all been popular characters people wanted to have come back. Dizzy is in the same boat. Uh, and all four of those characters uh, had not a lot to do with the story of this game. Uh, the previous DLC season sort of focused on characters who mattered to the story, uh, like Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos, Jacko, uh, and then we got uh, Sin and Viking and Asuka, and all of those characters mattered to this game's story. Uh, but in Season 3 we've gotten characters who don't. So it seems like they've shifted over a bit, and they're focusing more on just characters people want. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep up that trend, but yeah, it seems like there's a bit of a pattern there. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is Slayer in the game now. There he is. Um, and you can play as him. <laughs> After my face is covering up his little character select thing. I didn't realize that. It doesn't matter. You've seen it during the, um, the flying Reimu thing. So, you know how it goes. Uh, but yeah. I do think the most likely missing character is Dizzy. Uh, I would love to see... Heikun, Heikun, or uh, Venom, or Ansa, or Zappa, or... <laughs> the list just goes on and on, honestly. Um, Robokai is also a possibility. Um, he's hanging out with Venom right now, and he's just, like, ahead with, like, a propeller to get around. So there's a good chance he won't be available in that form as a character. But he may get a, may get a body re-attached, re and then he can do stuff again. I don't know. Or it might be, like, a thing where... Robo uh, Robokai and Venom are like fighting together, given that they are together. Uh, so it's possible little flying Robokai will be like Venom's buddy and hang out with him. I don't know. Oh my god, they were buddies. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I am eager for season four. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I love Slayer. He's a wonderful character. Um, but also, I love Dizzy more. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope if you are a Slayer enjoyer, that this version of Slayer scratches your Slayer itch. <laughs> um, and I hope if you're not the much a Slayer enjoyer, uh, that one of one or two, like some of the other characters this season help you out. I love Elvelt, for example, she's delightful. Uh, and I also hope that season four brings us just the big ears, Dizzy Keith. What is Dizzy? She's, she's never actually called Dizzy, like, Keith or Dizzy Isuke or have you want to pronounce Kai's last name? They are married, but she's just called Dizzy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, okay. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I'm actually going to stop the video now instead of rambling on about it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> video games. <laughs>